Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at in this video is a way to add Peacock to your Roku if you haven't gotten it yet. They will be rolling it out soon. But you go to Roku's website, Roku.com, and you want to make sure you're signed into your account. You'll see mine says, Welcome back, Ryan. If you aren't signed into your account, you want to do that first. Then you want to go to the My Account page, and you'll notice under Manage Account, there's a section that says Add Channel with a Code. So you're going to add that right here. And get this, the code for Peacock is just Peacock in all capital letters. So that's not cryptic or anything. So you say Peacock, and you click Add Channel screen refreshes and it says there it is so you add it and now it's installed and just to let you know this isn't some hinky little thing this is actually the official peacock channel from peacock or comcast it says peacock llc but just letting you know this isn't some weird side load you know private thing really it's just a private channel right now because it just hasn't loaded on every single roku soon enough it'll be in the store so once you get to your roku the channel is always going to be added at the very bottom of your screen if you want to skip to the bottom you can just start from the top and go up and you'll see peacock is right there in the lower half we're going to launch it just to let you know this isn't just a picture. And there she blows. So, um, if it didn't add directly to your Roku automatically, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I seem to have pretty good luck with it. The other way to make sure you get it on there is to make sure your Roku is updated. So, if you follow me to settings here, we're going to go down to system. And you're just going to want to make sure your system is up to date. So go down to where it says system update and hit check now. We don't have to because it has obviously been checked if you look just a minute ago. But we are all up to date. Otherwise, you can always restart the Roku if, if that's what you like to do. That, that will do the same kind of thing. Either way, once you launch back in, you will have the official Peacock channel. I'm going to show you one other really important thing about Peacock. There's two ways to sign in. See, up in this corner, it's already a subscriber. Down at the bottom of the screen is for new members. If you are a new member, that's fine. The cool thing is that, like it says up there, you don't need a credit card. But if you have already signed in through a phone or an iPad, something else, you can do it from this screen. Just make sure you don't get them confused, otherwise you'll get that message like, this account already exists, blah, blah, blah. But that's it. That's Peacock. I have already taken a look at it. It definitely works. You can launch into whatever. If you're paying, you can see it all. If you're not, you can see about half of it. But that's it. That's how you can add it unless it is already on your Roku. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.